Calotropis is a poisonous plant having two forms. One is Calotropis gigantea and the other is Calotropis procera. The gigantea form forms, uh, produces purple flowers while procera forms white flowers. There are four important active principles. One is ascarin, second is calotoxin, thirdly calactin and calotropin. Now, it is used in Indian medicine to stimulate digestion as a vesicant, as a depilatory to remove hair, and in various chronic skin conditions, and also as an emetic. That's one use that I think it should be used for. Who cares what I think? Okay, which part is poisonous? Now, the leaves and stem of Calotropis are crushed which yield a white milky and uh, acrid juice. So when this milky juice is allowed to stand or heated, what happens is that it forms clots like your blood does. So it will form wh white clots and the serum, which is straw colored, will be left. So the, form, the white clot is actually less poisonous and the straw colored fluid is more poisonous because it has an active ingredient known as gigantin. Coming to the signs and symptoms of calotropis poisoning, it depends if uh, it is administered locally, the juice, if uh, the powder of calotropis plant is snuffed, I don't know why anyone would do that, and thirdly, if it is ingested. Locally, on the skin, the juice will cause uh, redness and vesication, while in the eyes, it will cause fulminant conjunctivitis where fulminant is just a fancy word to describe its acute and escalating appearance. Secondly, if it is uh, snuffed in powder form, it causes immediate death and I think that's well deserved. If it is ingested, it can act as a GI poison and also as a cerebrospinal poison. The GI symptoms will be the same as an irritant poison. There will be an acrid bitter taste, burning pain in the throat, stomach and there will be nausea, vomiting and diarrhea while the cerebrospinal um, symptoms will be dilated pupils, tetanic convulsions, collapse leading to death. The fatal dose is thankfully not certain and fatal period is about 12 hours. The treatment is on general lines such as gastric lavage with warm water, demulsants. Post-mortem appearance will show dilated pupils, there will be froth at nostrils, there will be stomatitis, that is inflammation of the mouth and lips. And acute inflammation of the GIT will be present. There can be stomach ulcers or even perforations. There will be congestion of the pelvic viscera. Medically, legally, it is used as an infanticide. That's cruel. It's mixed with water or milk to do that. It is also used to procure abortion. It is used as a cattle poison. It can be used uh, to fake false uh, charges and produce artificial bruises. It is rare for suicide or homicide. It has been used as an arrow poison as well. And snake charmers actually use it to control newly caught snakes, uh, cobras and other poisonous snakes who happen to not like its smell. Good for us. That's all for Calotropis and all the awful things that you can do with it.